Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best RAMs for gaming. Starting at number 5. Nighthawk RGB 16GB. Not as expensive as the previous, but they'll still make an impression if you wanted to show off some colors again. The Nighthawk still brings some fast performance, where dual channel mode of 16 gigabytes and a bandwidth of 3200 megahertz will result in next to no lag dependent on your graphics card and cpu these will be for a pc where you'll be doing a lot of editing for your youtube channel but you'll also be playing games a few times a week you've got the option of streaming but you'd rather play a great mmorpg in between editing it also has the heat sinks on each so it can better siphon off any heat when under extreme load and rendering the 4K videos you've been working on. Coming at number 4. Kingston Fury Beast DDR5-4800. If you're after a more reasonably priced DDR5 memory kit to take advantage of your new Alder Lake S CPU, then the Kingston Fury Beast DDR5-4800 has all the guts for the job. Keep in mind, you aren't getting flashy RGB here. Nor are you benefiting from the crazy fast speeds upwards of 5000 MHz. But as a current generation option for early adopters, this kit will do everything you need it to in 2022. All tasks from gaming to web browsing are going to be no problem for a dual channel kit that's clocked this high. At number 3. Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB. If you're after high-end gaming RAM performance for your Intel 12th gen enabled rig, then the Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB DDR5-5200 offers all the performance speed that you need. With the potential of PCIe 5.0 just now being understood and unlocked by the newest Intel CPUs, you'll be in a very good place for the future of PC gaming as an early adopter in 2022 with this memory kit configuration. Unsurprisingly, a DDR5 memory solution is going to cost you a fair amount to invest in early at this current point in time. And the Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB DDR5-5200 is no different. While you're paying a bit of a premium already for the aesthetics and build quality, higher configuration RAM like this clock speed certainly doesn't come cheap. Number 2 of my list. Trident Z RGB 16 GB. While the recommended RAM specifications for a game are fine, there also needs to be room to think of the RAM you'll be using when you're streaming with friends, capturing, running multiple apps, or putting any other strain on your PC, so this should be a big factor in your purchase. Streaming applications and capturing your game can be taxing on memory, which is why I recommend always doubling the amount of RAM if you're looking to use a PC just for gaming. You may not even be interested now, but you may need it in the future. Also, more RAM can't hurt for a gaming PC. A lot of fun can be had with this but, of course, it depends if you have the right case to look at the components. And number 1. Ballistic Sport Gray 8GB DDR4-2400 this is a great RAM to start with on a budget, especially if you're building a PC for the first time. This will manage the minimum specifications for games from 2012 onwards, and while most modern games are okay, with 4GB of RAM, you're probably better off starting out with 8GB to avoid having to replace it too soon in the future. It also is compatible with the Intel registered XMP2. Zero standard, which means, if you felt daring, you could try and overclock the memory bandwidth speed. It's also a great upgrade opportunity, as you can buy another of the same module, have double the memory, but also in dual channel mode. It comes with a limited lifetime warranty, except for Germany, which is a 10-year warranty from the date of purchase. Alongside great documentation on Crucial's website to correctly install it if you're unsure. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.